hey guys in the previous section we stop at the set interval so once we set <coughs> the interval to three second it's going to be querying for the verify payment but in the last um section the copilot i use made a mistake so guys please you can just confirm what you just typed we have something like this meanwhile it's supposed to be a lambda function job some lambda set target something like this so kindly pass it down to this place and also to the sources area is something like this so pass it down to this place so that it is fixed so please and please guys don't forget to do that so click on save and this is going to help us resolve that so after this has been done now let's go back to our browser then refresh this page and select the um, sub account you want to make the payment for and click on make payments once you click on make payment this is going to show up now let's go back to this place what do we have we have on define okay so the reason why we have on define is because we are not tapping directly to the appropriate data so please and please guys let's go to the user controller sorry let's go to the user controller and tap into the status directly let's tap into the status directly that is this status that we have here let me show you let's close this part go to payment verify payment scroll down to the to the response so we have data so don't listen to this status it's not just the connection so tap into the data itself data and this status data and this status so let's do that so data then we tap status from data so that's just the best way to do it so data and status so we are going to check if this status is equals to what sources if it is sources we are going to do this data return the data to the user and over here we are going to have a message payment was successful else the payment is not going is not going to what be successful so here we have a message that says um payment was failed or still checking still verifying payments still pending or let's just use this pending so that is going to tell the user that okay this thing is still going okay so let's do something like this please and please guys so save it go back to your html page where we have this and yes so over here now we have if response does status so confirm this guy is returning a boolean please so this is a boolean awesome if it is true we have this message so let's go back to this html so if this boolean we point directly to the message so click on save and and we are good to go we are good to go so once this is done and also guys we need to check if this is a uh what's it called if it's still pending so we need to check the pending status also we need to check if it is pending so we are going to um check the user controller though we have this as status so here we are going to bring a status here um status status text let's call the status text so the status text is going to be accepted <coughs> using this status so we tap into the status text so if it is um pending or failed kind of then we have all this kind of issue so instead of having danger if it is pending or is still on old though that's a lot that's a lot let's just pass the data directly to this place message and here we are going to pass that so let me give it a space then a new one we have response dot status text so let's just pass this i think this is better because that is going to take much of our time okay so let's go to the um browser let's reload this page and let's close this one then close this one that we have here let's now start all over so once the user have clicked on that button let's just immediately show something to the user show info at least show a message to the user so the message we are going to show here is not actually success it's an info that this message is going to be um processing please wait while you redirect it to a new page then um exactly so let's save this and i think that's all select the user make the payment click on make payment and 
we don't even have that user okay this is it here. we have it here. awesome so now still pending we have abandon click on sources and let's see the status uh it's still under abandoned so let's go back to the pay stack and click on decline let's see declined what do we have is failed as you can see it's changing real time so let's go back to the status again we try with test card and sources this time around sources so what do we have sources as you can see payment was successful so this is how it is done guys this is how it is done so thank you so much for taking your time to watch this series from the beginning to the last section so guys please subscribe to my channel i will really appreciate it if you do that thank you so much for taking your time to watch this current section and also this school will be available on my on my page so just check the link below and grab the source code okay guys see you in the next one bye